Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here with another walkthrough of the week. This week we are here in Bethlehem School District. This is one Taylor Terrace in Del Mar. This is a three bedroom, two bath, uh, <clears throat> Cape Cod style home. It's a one and three quarter story. We'll see that when we go through the walkthrough. Um, this home has been uh, recently renovated, but it hasn't been top of the line renovated. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, property was was renovated, all the damage was repaired and everything like that. So there's a lot of new stuff in here, uh, but things that did not need to be replaced weren't. So, this is a B-level property, so structurally it's in good condition. All of the damage and everything like that has been repaired. So it was a C-level property, it was brought to a B-level property. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't quite brought to an A. So there are things still in here that could be updated Kitchens bathrooms things like that, but we'll see all that when we go through the walkthrough So if you or anyone you know are thinking about selling your home now is the time to give me a call You can see the end of the video for my contact information or you can go to my Facebook page and You can get my contact information there. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started with the walkthrough So we're here today in Bethlehem School District. This is one Taylor Terrace and Del Mar. This is a three bedroom, two full bathroom, two story home, uh, Cape Cod style home. It's like a one and three quarter story. This uh, home has been recently renovated. It was a, uh, what I would call a C level property. So it had been suffering for some actual damage, uh, some issues and like that. It has been brought to a B level property. So the damage has been repaired, uh, all of the structural issues and the major cosmetic issues uh, have been taken care of. But it wasn't quite brought to the A-level property. So there are still things left here that could be updated. So we enter into the home, into uh, the living room area here. We've got the uh, brick fireplace in front of us. Uh, off to the front we have the full bathroom for the first floor. I'm gonna head to the right first We have the dining room area here. You can see we're walking on hardwood floor So this is actual hardwood floor Original to the home more than likely and A little chandelier overhead And then walking in we have the kitchen So we've got ceramic tile in here We've got some stainless steel appliances. We've got the stainless steel dishwasher there. The gas oven with range. And the built-in microwave. And then we've got the side-by-side -side refrigerator over here. So these are laminate countertops. We do have tile backsplash here. And a double base sink. So really probably the only thing that wasn't done was countertops. Well, I mean, a lot of this stuff I imagine is probably original. Uh, cabinets look original, countertop looks original. Uh, but the appliances are probably new. That sink does not look original. That looks like it's been replaced. And I imagine the backsplash was added. So there are a few things in this kitchen that could be up updated that really bring it to the top of the line. Uh, we're not gonna go down there. You know, I like basements, we usually go down there. Uh, that is the door to the basement. Basement is a full-size basement. It's quite large, um, but it's an older style basement, so it's shallow. There's a little bit of what they were using as a finished area, but, but I mean, it's not really finished. It doesn't have sheetrock walls or, or real flooring or anything like that. Um, I mean, it could be finished, but like I said, it's shallow. You're really not going to get the same kind of headroom out of it, so it's really just bonus space. Uh, is what I would say. So here we are in the full bath on the first floor. We've got the vanity, toilet, and then the shower tub combo. We've got a tile backsplash. This is a mosaic tile. I mean, it's larger mosaic tiles, but this is an older style tile backsplash. So still in good condition. Could be updated, doesn't necessarily need to be. We have tile floor here. <clears throat> and then off to the left, we have what is considered to be the first bedroom. So 
a little bit of a smaller bedroom. We've got new carpeting in this room. So the only place you're gonna see carpeting is in the bedrooms. And then we've got a closet right there. Carpeting is the only is only in the bedrooms. Everything else is either the hardwood or the ceramic tile. Here we have the second bedroom. Again with the new carpet. This is a different style carpet. You know what that first but that first that's kind of weird changing up the carpet. It's very good condition. I thought it was new, but now that I'm thinking about it, the style doesn't really make sense, so maybe it's not. All right, heading up to the first floor here. We've got this uh, door to the side. That is entrance into the attic space. Uh, the amount of attic that is actually available. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't a cave. Well, maybe it still is. It's got a salt box roof, so that might still be considered a Cape Cod. But, okay, yeah, so here we are on the third floor. So the third floor is the third bedroom. So this is, uh, I mean, there's multiple rooms up here, but really I would just call the entire thing uh, one master bedroom suite. Um, so we've got this area here. And then you can see the hallway there, and there's another room in the back. It cannot be considered two bedrooms. You cannot walk through a bedroom in order to get to, well, it, you can't have the only way to get to a bedroom is walking through another bedroom. It's okay if you have two bedrooms that are attached, you can walk between them. But if you have to walk through like if we say this was a bedroom and then down at the end of the hall, that's another bedroom. The only way for me to get to that room at the end of the hall is to walk through this bedroom. So uh, you can't, so they both can't, they can't both be considered bedrooms. Now, every now and then you run into a really old property um, that legally is still considered, like if this, let's say this house was built in the 1800s or 1700s or something and it says hey this is a four bedroom house and then I'm getting up here and I walk through and I'm just like well I have to walk through this bedroom to get to the other bedroom well it's old enough it was grandfathered in they considered it a bedroom so I mean unless someone's going to change it that's basically just what we're going to go with but this is modern enough that it wasn't considered a bedroom so that's why you could use this as four bedrooms if you really wanted to. I personally wouldn't. I wouldn't like walking through another bedroom to get to the fourth bedroom. Uh, really, I would just look at this as a really big master suite, this whole floor. So, uh, this first area here, uh, I would consider more of a sitting area. This could be like an office space. <clears throat> We've got built-in shelving over there on the side. This whole third floor is carpeted. And then walking down the hall, door to the left right here, closet, door to the right here, another closet, door to the right here, another closet. So three closets in here. And then here we have the full bath. On the second floor, we've got a walk-in shower, the vanity in the back, and then the toilet there. Again, ceramic tile. And then here we have what I would consider uh, to be the actual bedroom. I mean, this is what I would use as the bedroom anyway. This particular area is small, but I mean, if you consider the, the room as a whole, all the way down to the end of the hallway, it's quite large for a bedroom. Really, the only thing you gotta put in here is a bed and probably end tables. You don't have to cram all this other furniture in there that could be stuck, that could be set in the other room. So this would be the bed chamber, I guess, uh, for the master suite. All right, so that concludes the walkthrough. All right, so that was everything. So three bedrooms, two baths. Um, it's a B-level property, so all of the uh, the damage issues, any of the really significant things, th those have already all been repaired. 
So it was a C level property. It's been repaired. Now it's a B level property. Um, so really just making it an A level property would just be some of the other updates. Uh, kitchen really would just be countertops. Uh, the cabinets are in good condition. You could probably get away with those. I mean, if you wanted to replace them, you could. Um, the appliances, I'm not sure if they are new, but they're stainless steel. And it doesn't really... I mean, based on what they had to do to the property, I would say that the appliances were not there. So I would say that those appliances are new. Um, it does have the tile backsplash already. So kitchen is really just a countertop and maybe a cabinet issue. Uh, bathrooms, those could be updated also. And that is probably really all you would need to do to get it to an A-level property. There are other things that you could do beyond that. Um, you've got the original, the, the exterior of the house has probably been painted. Uh, it's definitely been repaired. It doesn't really look all that bad. Uh, but it is aluminum siding. That's not very popular anymore. Um, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just kind of an older styling uh, siding. So when people say aluminum siding, you kind of just get that impression. It's just like, oh, that needs to be replaced. I mean, it doesn't. Um, but it is it is just kind of an, an older style thing. So that may be something that you may want to update. But really, bathrooms and kitchens, that would really all you, you would need to do to really bring this to that a level property so check the property information page for the most up-to-date information on the property any kind of price changes any special incentives any open houses any virtual open houses all of that can be found on the property information page please like my facebook page to see more walkthroughs of the week and anything else that i post on that platform you can also subscribe to my youtube channel my youtube channel will have all of the videos that i'm doing across every platform Plus a few things that are exclusive just to YouTube. So you can subscribe to YouTube to see all of that. So that has been this week's walkthrough of the week. Thank you for joining me. And please tune in again next week for next week's walkthrough of the week. Bye-bye for now.